Ridley, I'm entitled to this. Mr. Speaker, I rise to support the report of the Committee on Delegated Legislation as regards the establishment of this military fund, which, in my view, is very important. Um, first and foremost, Honorable Junet is not here. I would have informed him that policy decisions of a government are run through a subsidiary legislation. You cannot run policy decisions based on the Constitution or on Acts of Parliament because a act of, the Constitution itself makes a provision. The Act of Parliament provides how that provision is to be executed and regulations actually do now carry out how the policies of that particular provision are to be enforced. Therefore, there is nothing wrong with the provisions we are dealing with now through a delegated legislation decision to establish a fund for our military. As it has been said, our military has been involved in very many peacekeeping missions. In fact, many people have been saying Kenya has a professional army. And sometimes they try to belittle that army, but the strength of the force is actually felt. When we go out there to enforce peace missions, whether in Bosnia, Herzegovina, Liberia, Somalia, or anywhere else in the world. Most important is the fact that there are some monies that are received from the international community as regards the peace missions we hold. And when that money goes into the consolidated fund, we have no way of ring fencing, we have no way of protecting uh, the money so that it goes in for the purpose intended. We know very well that out there we do a good job. But as is going to be seen in the next motion, we are going to debate. And I do not wish to anticipate the debate. We are not doing very well in the country. Because of late, we have seen our soldiers being killed by terrorists all over. And it brings to question whether they are well equipped, whether the vehicles they are using are really military vehicles, or they are technical.